Hi guys, just a short video on the Vigor 2750 series uh, VDSL2 router. I've just uploaded a unboxing and first thoughts uh, video and I thought it was going to be a real simple process to set this up to connect to uh, BT Infinity. It certainly wasn't. It was a real pain and we, I struggled for probably four or five hours before this actually worked. It's actually very simple when you know how but when you've plugged this in and your old router is offline you can't access the internet so <laughs> check this up check these things out before trying to run the new one because it's not as obvious as you might have thought um, the first thing to do is make sure for BT Infinity that this connection type is uh, PPPoE uh, there's others there but that's the one you want uh, the username certainly for me is bt home hub at bt broadband dot com there are others possibly depending on where you are in the country uh, bt internet uh, at bt broadband and then there's various uh, takes on this which one works other people have tried using their bt email address uh, but if you go into your home hub router and look at the admin uh, control panel you will find that address uh, in there and if that's the address that's in there it's got to be the right one so put it into here now the other thing the BT Home Hub uh, 3 does not require a password now again there's different thoughts on this some people have said you don't need to put a password in here other people have said you do need to put something in there so just use a space uh, and other people have said put anything you like in there it really doesn't make any difference now the only way I got this to work was to put in 1234 in both of these and th then after that it was fine after another step which I'll, I'll show you in a minute but I don't think you can leave this blank don't think you can uh, put a space in there uh, I do not know why we now have six dots in there when I've only entered a four uh, character password that's come up like that I'm not going to mess around with it and change it or anything in case I lose the connection and I really don't want to have to go through all that again. Uh, it's always on, obviously. Uh, I've left that to auto, but you could put uh, 1492 in there. Uh, the only thing I changed was uh, this was uh, the WAN connection detection was to ARP, and I've just say this just disabled it. Again, I don't think that's going to make any difference. Uh, it's only the connection detection method, um, but I by chance just happened to disable it and when I clicked on OK uh, I noticed that the connection was up and running but I had made another change which I'll show you now um, just bear in mind on all of these pages once you've made these changes you must click OK uh, on some of the pages in fact the next one the OK button is off the screen so scroll down click OK uh, you will lose the changes if you switch back now uh, to another tab uh, the next thing that's really important uh, and is not obvious uh, if you, unless you look at the Draytech support website uh, is this uh, multi VLAN you must tick the enable multi VLAN setup and uh, when it's asking for the WAN VLAN ID you must type in 101 uh, and as I said a second ago you must scroll down and click on OK once you've done that you will find by clicking on online status and I'm not going to do it because I don't want the IP addresses to come up you will find that after perhaps 20 to 30 seconds the connection will be made and you'll be up and running do not click do not make these changes and then click on online status and see that there's no connection and then dive straight back in to all of these settings and mess, th mess things around you've got to wait 20 to 30 seconds before the connection will be established and in fact you may even have to just restart the router and possibly restart the PC but uh, in my experience when I was doing this yesterday once these settings had been enabled correctly and saved uh, when I went to internet access the connection was there 10 seconds later um, and it was quite a surprise to find everything appear in green whereas before the uh, connection had come up in red with some very odd IP address so just bear that in mind if you're getting one of these uh, delivered do check their support site before you pull out the home hub 3 or you'll be doing it like I did yesterday keep swapping them around to get an internet connection uh, whilst trying to set this up and it was a real pain but 
it's fantastic when it's up and running. Uh, loads and loads of features. Uh, as you know from the other video, we want this as a, a forum file server. And now it's all up and running. I'm going to attach a hard drive, set it up under the USB application tab, and see if it will uh, do the job that we need it to do. So, yeah, perfect for up and running. You just got to need to know this information. If you don't do this stage here, you just won't get it. So uh, check the support site. You've watched this video now, so you'll, you'll know. Hopefully that will help. Thanks a lot.